got um, a lesson on bioluminescence. And uh, bioluminescence is basically a chemical reaction, a thing that happens um, in living things and makes them glow. And um, there isn't really an investigation this week because we're not going to be going diving and some of these creatures, they live underwater and uh, we're not going to be anywhere where we're going to see fireflies and things like that. Um, and so we're not going to get a chance to see the bioluminescence. And we're, we're going to see it in videos and things like that. But um, I kind of wanted to bring it a bit closer. And um, this kind of thing that I'm going to show you now, it's got nothing to do with bioluminescence. But what it might do is give you a bit of an experience of bioluminescence, if you get my meaning. Um, and um, we're going to use an egg and some white vinegar. And I've just got the jug there to help me organise myself. Um, and we're going to basically make a bouncy, luminous, glowy egg so that when you turn the lights off and you shine a torch through it, you're going to get a lovely kind of feeling, you're going to experience the bioluminescence, okay? So um, what I'm going to do, this is just white vinegar in here, I'm going to, oops, yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to pour this into a jug, you don't have to do this. Um, I'm just doing it because for me it's going to be easier. So I put that into a jug and then I'm going to, it's really strong. <laughs> so when you do this, you're going to have to leave this for like three days. Um, so maybe uh, if you haven't got a lid, maybe put some cling film on it. It's quite, it's quite smelly. I'm going to carefully put my egg in there. Oops, yeah, that's it. Um, Actually, this is reminding me um, a little bit of our teeth. Remember when we did teeth and we did enamel, yeah? And um, the eggshell, okay, it's a little bit like um, enamel. And I think you might remember when we did teeth, um, we got calcium, okay? Uh, I think it's calcium carbonate in, um, egg, in um, eggshells. Calcium phosphate is the enamel on our teeth. I think you might remember that when we did that. And um, now I'm going to get the white vinegar and I'm going to pour it over the egg. Oops. <laughs> uh, I actually, I'm not very good at this. Right, I'm going to pour it over the egg like this. And then I've got a really nice puddle here. You can't see it, but it doesn't matter. Um, and then I'm going to put the lid on, as I said, just to stop the smell. But you don't have to, you can leave it. You can already see, look, can all, there's a chemical reaction happening already. You can see all the air bubbles, bubbles going up in that, that's brilliant. Now, um, so I'm going to leave that now for between one and three days. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a chemical reaction between the vinegar, which is a weak acid, okay, and the enamel, the, the not the enamel, the eggshell, uh, which is calcium carbonate. And the what's going to happen is that the eggshell is going to kind of move away from the egg. And I must, I must um, remind you that it's a raw egg. Don't do a hard-boiled egg in there. It's a raw egg, okay? And just leave that, put that somewhere safe, and just leave it. I would leave it for two or three days for the best of it. Join a group and you will find Hi there. So um, I've got my egg that I put in the white vinegar uh, three days ago. And I've been really patient because um, I've waited the three days, haven't got it out, haven't, haven't fiddled with it at all, or messed around with the process that is happening. And you might remember uh, that I told you um, about the eggshell and that it's similar um, to enamel. And um, you know the, the white vinegar is a weak acid. And uh, what happens is there's been a chemical reaction there. You can see that. Um, there's some bubbles. And that shows carbon dioxide that's been released in the chemical reaction. And there's lots of yucky stuff that is uh, floating on the top. 
And in a minute, I'm going to take this egg out of uh, the vinegar to make my nice um, luminous, bouncy egg so we get the feeling of bioluminescence. Because remember, we can't go deep sea diving and see all those um, wonderful jellyfish. And um, this, what I really want to tell you about is this is going to be bouncy uh, because there's actually, there's kind of a little layer, it's, there's, a, there's a layer, um, like a membrane it's called, and um, it's got stuff called keratin in it, and keratin, um, you've got keratin in your hair, actually my hair is really strong, and uh, it makes, uh, it's going to make your egg like kind of quite strong, not that strong that you can bounce your egg all over the living room, please don't do that because parents and carers will get very upset, but you will be able to have it in a bowl and sort of look at the effect of the, of the bounce, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, do be careful when you're bouncing this egg. Please only do it if you've got it in a bowl. Uh, so I'm here in a, a not very clean kitchen, uh, but I'm going to finish uh, this little egg thing because I really want you to see this luminous effect. And um, so I'm going to take the top off. Oh, oh, maybe put a peg on your nose, just like Queen Victoria did. Uh, yeah, this is a big stink actually. This doesn't smell nice. And I'm going to really carefully, in the sink, I'm just going to pour off uh, the white vinegar. <coughs> uh, believe me, you won't want to use that white vinegar again. Don't save it for anything, just chuck it away. And I can see this gooey stuff, um, which I might save just to have a little look at, just because I'm interested in it. So there, I've nearly got all the vinegar out. And yeah, I have got the gooey stuff. And um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna show you, I've got it on my hand. It is a bit yucky, um, but there we go. So that is the eggshell. Um, and look what, what's happened to it after that little chemical reaction. That's a bit yucky actually, I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, piece of paper here. Um, so I've just put it on there, look you can see it, you might want to, um, I don't know if you've got a little microscope, but you might want to have a little look at that under a mi microscope. Now, um, so I've got my egg, and what you don't want to do is just kind of like empty it out really quickly, you want to do it really carefully because you don't want um, the yolk to break inside, because remember this is, uh, this is still a raw egg, alright? That was really badly done, I'm sorry about that. Um, but luckily I did have a bowl here, all right? Now, just gonna show you this. Now, you can see, I talked about the keratin, and it is, do you know what? This egg is actually pretty bouncy, look at that. And you can see, I'll show you really carefully in a minute, but you can actually see, I think you can see a little bit of the yolk inside, because it is still a raw egg. Right, I'm going to go and get my torch uh, and a blanket to hide under. I have got my bouncy egg and I'm just going to show you how it illuminates. It's quite good actually if I go underneath, you might be able to see um, the yolk uh, just inside. Um, I'm actually going to pick it up in my hand really carefully, I hope it doesn't slide out. Look. And you get a real, you can really get a feel of what luminance is, yeah? And, um, you know, so this shows you kind of like how things glow, <clears throat> how species might glow, and why they might have a special skill like this, this glowing skill. Um, and it is really fun to make a bouncy egg. Um, I'm just going to show you once more how bouncy this egg is. Here we go. And that is really good fun. That is really, really bouncy. But please don't bounce it around the living room or anywhere like that, okay? All right then, enjoy. Mm -hmm.